In today's episode, I will be teaching you how to scrape and summarize news articles using the Newspaper 3K Python package, all from scratch. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, my name is Rohawk and I'm the founder of Empower Code, helping you make a change with technology. Today marks the fourth episode of my course, Data Science for Media Bias Detection, where we will take our first steps in Python by scraping and summarizing news articles. Why the New York Times? Well, the New York Times covers all sorts of topics and offers different media perspectives towards events, a feature that's hard to find anywhere else. If we can build a short Python script that efficiently scrapes and summarizes a given news article, it would be an amazing way to sift through long, repetitive pieces of news. In order to take our first steps toward accomplishing this goal, we need to get started with the Python IDE. Now, the last episode in my course took you guys through the installation process and setup of PyCharm, a popular open source Python IDE. If you haven't watched that one yet, I highly recommend you to do so, as it would make the content in this episode a whole lot more manageable. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the code. Awesome, now I have opened up my newspaper scrape project in PyCharm. So let me create a new Python file. To do this, you can simply right click our project folder at the top, select new, and from the drop down menu, select Python file. After naming my file, I can simply click enter and watch my file come to life. Now since we are using Newspaper 3K, which is a news extraction package, we need to import it first. So to do this, we simply type in from, then newspaper, which is our package, and inside we import the article class, which we will be using to scrape and summarize our news articles. Now in case you're having difficulty installing the package, simply run the following command, pip install newspaper 3k on anaconda or terminal in order to access its functions. With that aside, we can now start our newspaper scrape. First, let me create a function called summarize article, which will store the main script that we will be using throughout our code. Additionally, we can pass in the URL of a sample news article as a parameter. Now that we're inside our function, we can use the imported article class and assign a variable article to a new article object containing our URL. Let me show you how you can do this. Awesome! So as you guys can see, we assign a variable article to a new article object and inside we passed in the URL of the news article that we want to scrape. Next, in order to see visible results and act upon our article, we need to perform some setup. So the first thing we're going to do is actually download the article itself. Next, in order to perform the natural language processing and tokenization that we want to do, we need to actually parse our article to get it ready for extraction. Now this next step is super important. In order to extract and detect text, on wording in our article URL, we need to download punct, which is a sentence tokenizer that is very useful for extracting and detecting individual words or sentences in a large body of text. Essentially, punct dynamically breaks up text into individual sentences, making it easier to extract and detect certain words and parts of speech in each sentence. So we can simply call the download function we used earlier but this time, as a parameter, we can specify punct, which is what we want to install. Finally, to complete our setup, let's call the NLP function on our article object, which allows for natural language processing on our article. So here, in the drop-down menu of fields and methods, we can simply type in NLP, and we're ready to go. Awesome! Now we're set up and ready to finally start seeing some visible results in our code. But before we do, we need an article. Because Empower Code revolves around technology, let's take a look at the technology section of the New York Times. Here, I have found an article. It's called A Capitalist Fix to the Digital Divide, and it's centered around the role of bigger tech companies paying for the internet access of low-income Americans. It's interesting, practical, 
and definitely a great article to scrape. Now, if I scroll down here, the first thing we notice in our article is the author. How can we extract this information with Newspaper 3K? So now in our print statement that will be containing the author of our article, we can simply access the author's instance variable inside of the article class. If you guys remember, our article variable is an article object. So we can interact with it the same way we would with an ordinary Python object. So once we typecast our result to a string, we can simply type in article.authors to access the correct field of the article class. So now after passing in the correct article URL that we want to use into our function, if I click run at the top here, we can see that it gives us the correct author, Shira Ovide. So if we check this against our actual article, we see the exact same result on our computer screen. How cool is that? Next, let's repeat the process to access the published date of the article. So here we have our print statement like we did for the author, which will contain the published date of our article. And so to actually get the published date, we can typecast our result to a string, which you always want to do. And then we can type in article dot publish date. So now if we run our program to see what we get, we see that we get a published date. This says that the article was published on September the 22nd of 2020. Looking back on our actual article and we see the exact same result, published September 22nd, 2020. But if you guys notice, this published date that is outputted is formatted weirdly and it's very hard to read. So the first thing we do is we actually assign the publish date to a separate variable. This is because we will be using this variable later on to format our date correctly so that it is printed out to the console in a readable format. So here inside of our print statement, we can use the string format time method. In short, it is typed out as strf time. What this method does is that it converts tuple representations of dates, like the one we have here, into a proper string as specified by the format argument. So here, as you guys can see, I've now passed in a formatting argument. But what does this actually do? Let's take a look and find out. So here, if you guys notice, I've used a lot of percent symbols and they're followed by M, D, and Y. These stand for month, day, and year respectively. So when we enter our date, these parameters will be replaced by the ones we have. So for instance, month will be replaced by nine, day will be replaced by 22, and year will be replaced by 2020. And our string will be formatted and readable. Awesome guys, so as you can see on my screen, let me zoom in here, we can see that our date is formatted like you would see it in everyday life. 09 slash 22 slash 2020, exactly how it should be. Next, let's continue our extraction journey and grab the top image of our article, which is also known as the cover image. So here we have our print statement, which will give us the top image URL, as you guys can see. And to actually get this top image, we can simply access the top image field of our article object. And so if we run this code, as you guys can see, it gives us a URL containing the top image. And so if we click this URL, as you guys can see, this image correctly matches with the one that we see on the top of our article. Now that is really cool. Now what if we wanted to get all the images inside our article? How would we even go about doing this? Well, it's actually a whole lot easier than you think. We simply type in article, we type in our dot, and we access the images field of our article class. So once we run our code, we see that it gives us a complete list of all the URLs in our article. But if you guys notice, if we print these out to the console, we get a great sequence of images, but they look way messy and organized. We really don't want this. So to fix this, we can simply use a for loop to print each image line by line. Since article.images returns a list of all the images, we can simply iterate through each image and print each one to the console. So first we declare a new variable called image string. 
we create this because we will be appending the URLs of all our images to this string. So now, as you guys can see, we're iterating over each image in our article.images list. Now, we simply append a new line in a tab to our image string. If you're familiar with programming languages like Java, these backslash characters are known as escape sequences. And backslash N stands for a new line, and backslash T stands for tab. Next, we append the image that we're currently iterating through to our image string. So now, after our for loop has ended, we can simply print our image string to the console and see how it looks. Awesome, that looks a whole lot better. As you guys can see, each image is printed on a separate line and is tabbed to indicate a sense of hierarchy from the all images string above. Now that we have extracted major metadata from our article, what if there was a way to summarize the entire article in just a couple of short sentences? Well, after typing some introductory print statements, it turns out there actually is a way to get the article summary from our news article. We can simply print out article.summary. It's that simple, guys. This is the power of Newspaper 3K. Remember the punk tool I downloaded earlier? Well, due to its ability to tokenize or break up the text into individual sentences, we are able to pull the first five sentences easily and thus create a summary. Now let's test out our code on a different article. Awesome, so as you guys can see on my screen, this new article is about the harmful side effects and consequences of ransomware. So now if we replace our previous URL and paste in our new one, let's go ahead and run our script to see what we get. Wow, check this out. Now we have our author, publish date, top image URL, all the images inside our article, and a quick article summary containing the first five sentences of our article. If I click on the top image, it takes me to this JPG file, and if I look at the actual cover image, the two match perfectly. You guys can also see that the quick article summary is the exact first five sentences of the actual news article that we are extracting. Now we have officially scraped and summarized news articles with the Newspaper 3K Python package. Awesome, we were able to use Python and a handy extraction package to scrape and summarize news articles in a matter of minutes. If you still have doubts or are confused, the script is stored on GitHub. Check the description to access the link to it. Each and every episode, we are getting closer and closer to our end goal, which is to use Python data science to detect news bias in the media. Join me and together, let's accomplish this goal. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.